Let me bring in uh, Sarah Sidner. She's at CNN. She's been covering the uh, George Floyd story from the very beginning and uh, gotten very close to the family. Sarah, thanks for coming on. How are you this morning? It's my pleasure, Ryan. Um, to be perfectly honest, I am bone tired, I'm but I'm sure still you, here and I'm, sure I'm still working. I'm sure you are exhausted. <laughs> uh, you know, I was. It, it struck me. I was watching this week when you were doing a live shot. You were actually in the middle of a report when Felonis Floyd called your cell phone in the middle of the report and you took the call. And it just it, it struck me as how connected you are to not only the story, but to that family. Yeah, you know, when that call came in, I had tried to tell him, I promised that if I heard that there was a verdict, that I would reach out as soon as I knew anything. And they, Delona said, okay, that's great. Just let me know. But I just assumed that they would get the information first. And when he called me, I had just texted him saying a verdict has been reached. He hadn't even read the text. He just called. And when I picked up the phone, he said, what do you mean? And I said, please don't tell me I'm the first person to tell you that a verdict has been reached. He goes, I had no idea. Now, granted, we had just found out from sources, so it had not been made public yet. And so that is what happened. Um, he called. He was he was quiet at first, and then he he said, "This is a huge moment, a historic moment for America, but it is a very deeply personal moment for the family." And that really struck me. And Sarah, in, in the, from the moment. Because there was like there was ninety minutes. We thought it was going to be an hour, but there was about ninety minutes until we all saw the verdict in real time. What did the family do? What What were those moments like leading up to what was three counts of guilty? But they didn't know for ninety minutes. What were they? What was What was that emotion for them? The family was together for the most part. There are a lot, and the Floyd family, by the way, is a huge family. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of members of the Floyd family. Uh, some of them were all together. Salonis, however, was by himself in the court. Hmm. Wasn't with other family members. He There was only one chair for the Floyd family and one chair for the Chauvin family in that courtroom because of protocols, because of COVID. Um, and so those are set aside, and that's, that's it. You couldn't have a whole bunch of folks in there. So he told me he was pacing up and down the hall mm-hmm. before they let them into the courtroom pacing and pacing and pacing. And while he believed he knew that they were going to get the verdict that they wanted, he was still uh, uneasy and just pacing back and forth nervously until they let him in and he sat down and waited for the judge to read the verdict. I mean, uneasy. I think a lot of Americans that in those moments too, waiting and watching. Yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, you know what he said to me when I said, you know, I hate asking this question as a reporter because it's kind of a lame question, but in this moment I felt like it was okay. I said, well, how are you feeling? I was like, because i got to tell you, right. I'm nervous as hell. Yeah. And he said, it's going to be all right. To me. To you, to calm you down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, wow. it's going to be all right. So that's kind of the spirit of, of that family. Um, mm-hmm. there's, a, there's a sweetness. Um, I like to call it a little, a little Southern sweetness yeah. Um, yeah. that they have. Having grown up in the South myself, I recognize that, that, that just Southern, southern kindness um, mm-hmm. that, that exists. And he's like, it's going to be all right. Well, you have it's dedicated, all right. you have dedicated a, a lot of time and a lot of heart to the story. Your reporting has been fantastic. So thank you for that. Thank you also for coming on. I hope CNN's going to give you a little break. I don't I don't generally take breaks. We are working on another story. We've got a four or five coming forward. But you know what? I'm kind of trying to be like you because I think you're the hardest working man in all hey, of listen, the world. The, I, in America. I sleep. The news <laughs> never sleeps. <laughs> I don't believe that you sleep, by the way. No, I don't think that's true. <laughs> He well, sleeps standing up. I sleep. I sleep standing up. Exactly. Well, Sarah, <laughs> exactly. thank you very much for coming on with us. Take good care of yourself. Okay. It's my pleasure, and thank you. All right. Bye bye.